Welcome to In Your Face. I'm Connor along with Matt and Ethan, and today we'll be talking about if there is any chance that Dave Ortiz would ever go and play for the Yankees. Uh, let's start with Ethan. What do you think? I think there's a great possibility that he goes to the Yankees. He's been a huge clutch postseason performer, as you know. Um, he's batting over 300 against the Yankees with 137 career home runs. And yes, he's won three world championships in Boston, but I would think Ortiz would rather play with a bunch of veterans than a bunch of kids who are inexperienced and really don't know what they're doing in the majors yet. So I think that the Yankees would be a great landing spot. I mean, they have Teixeira, Beltron. He's friends with a bunch of those guys, with Brian Roberts and... Um, all their veteran guys on that club, plus the Yankees have won 27 world championships. I don't know if anybody else knows that, but uh, I think Ortiz would enjoy playing in that kind of environment because the Yankees go to the postseason almost every year. And Matt, what do you think? No, absolutely not. David Ortiz loves Boston, and he's very close to retirement. His his two-year extension is about to expire, but it, there, he, I think he's either going to re-sign in Boston or retire right away. Besides, he absolutely loves Boston, and he... And sure, yeah, he does love heating in the Bronx, but I, but he loves Boston. All right, and next we're going to stick with baseball. Who do you think the hero for the Red Sox this season has been, Ethan? Well, I think it's Jackie Bradley Jr., and this case is interesting. You know, the kid comes up from AAA, and he's playing in the spot of Ellsbury, and it's really hard to take Ellsbury's spot. Uh, he, As you know, he's signed with the Yankees up in the offseason for seven years, $153 million. Uh, Ellsbury was a great center fielder both defensively and offensively, although last season he struggled a little bit with the power. Um, only one season did he have 30-plus home runs. Um, but so Jackie Bradley Jr. is expected to take over this really large gap and fill in at center field and be the leadoff hitter for the Red Sox. Well, that really didn't work out at first, but Jackie Bradley Jr., he opened his stance. He's been hitting, and defensively, he's been a wizard in center field. He has 10 outfield assists. So I really think he's helped the Red Sox out so far, and I think he's helped the young guys, and he's helping himself mature as well. Matt, who do you think? Okay, I have to agree with, uh, with him on this one, on that about Jackie Bradley Jr., that he does have, make some diving catches at times, and... And yeah, in the past few days he has some great hitting, but if I had to choose for the hero for the Red Sox, it would be Brock Holt. He, since he has been called up from AAA Pawtucket, he has, he has been batting 340 and the, as the leadoff hitter for the Red Sox, and he has made some, some great timely, some great, some great catches, like that, that, one, uh, that catch off the wall in, uh, in right field the other night against the Blue Jays. And that'll wrap it up for In Your Face. I'm Connor with uh, Matt and Ethan. Good night.